Okay, um, let's see if we can get let's get this done. Uh, this is three C one. Uh, let's pop on blue. I, I like blue. Phosphorus five oxide has a lower melting point than sodium oxide. As soon as you get that, as soon as they give you the big thing lower, state the structure of and bonding. State the structure of and bonding in phosphorus five oxide. Very simple. Covalent. And at that point, you don't get any marks. You must say it's a simple covalent molecule. Um, there are two marks of the fact that it's covalent and the fact that it's a molecule. But also, you need to state that it's simple. It's not a giant molecular structure like um, silicon dioxide. Okay, so I'm going to switch the pen off. Um, and we're going to scroll down to the next one. So 3C2 says, explain why the melting point of phosphorus 5 oxide is low. Well, the reason why it's low, and it's a one market, is that uh, the, you want to call it, if you want to call it van der Waals forces, uh, van der Waals, it's disgusting, absolutely disgusting handwriting, van der Waals forces, or if you're going to talk about dipole, dipole, you're talking about dipoles, but van der Waals forces are weak. And that will do because these van der Waals forces, your dipoles are weak, then the attractions are weak, your bonds are intermolecular bonds are weak, therefore you can have a, a low melting point. And that was that one. Where is it? Was it